welcome back to my channel okay guys i know it's been a while yes since i posted my get to know me video tag and i hope you guys have seen the video anyway yeah see it so you get to know me <laughs> okay but that's not why we're here so in today's video today's video is about coloring you already saw the title yeah 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 you already know <laughs> okay guys I'll be taking you guys through the process of how I got that Kylie Jenner inspired hair <laughs> color. Yeah, it was very nice and I just liked how natural it was looking and I decided to create something like that. Actually, I created it and guys, it's so beautiful. Like, ta -da! <laughs> Okay, guys, this is it it's so beautiful like it's so nice as you can see it's so pretty like i'm in love with this i'm really, really <laughs> i love this guys i love this so i said to share the process and everything how i got this color so if you're interested and you want to know keep watching so guys, if you're new to this channel, please subscribe. If you're not, thank you. You're doing a good job by coming back. And please keep on liking and sharing my videos. Okay, guys, let's get straight into this video. So guys, this is the hair. And see, so this is 32 inches. Yeah, that's how long it is, guys. So, this is how the hair looks. This is just pure natural color black. And we are going to color it to the color you saw. So, guys, it's time to color. Let's color, guys. Yeah, guys. So, um, <laughs> this is my morning routine anyways. Um, lime and cucumber I'm supposed to put mint leaf but I've run out of one and so I take this every morning just to help myself and just to detox after exercising or before anyone anyways this is my mini studio this is where I do all the work this is where I walk from if you've been here before you know that yeah this is it guys so for this hair color i'll be using the medium chestnut brown by revlon number 67 and i'll be using this golden brown number 73 so guys yeah this is what i'll be using to get that dark brown natural brown color rather and i'll be bleaching with my developer and bleach there's the bleach that developer and yeah i'm using ultra set because it's effective and it's a nice product anyway although i don't use it most of the time bro yeah this is what i could find imagine this chicken is just crawling I will just fry it and eat seriously so that's it guys let's color so guys the first thing you're going to need while bleaching is your glue your mixing bowl and brushes you can just use one of the brushes anyway and I'm going to pour in my bleach I did not really measure it because I did not have um, anything to measure it with so I just I boiled it and that was it just pour in a little quantity or rather a desired quantity and then you pour in your developer and mix them together
keep mixing until you get the right consistency it's not going to be too watery it's not going to be too thick I divided the hair into parts and I placed the paper bag on my canvas to avoid any stain from bleach and this is the mixture guys you can see it's not too thick and it's not too watery So I'm starting from the back and I walk my way up. If you want to see more of my bleaching videos, you can, okay, you know what, I will just leave the link on my description. Yeah guys, you'll be needing foil for this because when you cover your hair after applying bleach on it with the foil, it just makes it process faster. That's just the work of foil. I'm just applying my mixture generously on the hair because you want it to penetrate everything. You can also use a small um, tooth comb to brush while applying your bleach but I don't really have time for that I'm just applying it generously into the wave and that's it guys after doing this I'm going to place a foil place it inside a foil to make it process very fast So just keep applying the bleach until you get to the top guys. So this is the hair after bleaching it for the first time. This is how it looks. It has this uh, golden blonde uh, color. So these parts are the parts I'm going to highlight very well. I braided them and this other part is going to be dark brown and the braided part is going to be blonde so i just kind of braided it to differentiate it so i can understand it better and try to remind myself when i'll be coloring So the back part, this part is going to be blonde, so I also braided it. I'm doing all this because I don't want to get the color mixed up and even apart from that, I also don't want to make some kind of silly mistakes because coloring is a job you're supposed to be very careful about. While coloring, you're supposed to be very careful and take it a step at a time. And you don't have to make mistakes because if you do I don't think there's any repair so this is another mixture of bleach I'm going to bleach those braided parts for the second time because I really want it to be very very light like a very light blonde 
So I will be going in with my bleach again and applying it on the braided parts. All the braided parts, both the front and the back as you can see guys. Just continue doing this, work your way through and that's it. Please note, while applying your bleach for the second time, you don't have to cover it with any foil because it's going to damage it. Because when you process, over process the hair, it can make it to start shedding and pull out. So take note. Yeah, guys. So I'm done coloring the hair for the second time. That's the part I needed to be highlighted as the blonde highlights and I went in with my silicone mix if you watch my videos you know I don't play with this at all this is my I'm not going to say secret but <laughs> bro I don't joke with this anyway it's very very effective it's very nice um, I use it to deep condition my hair and just let it sit and steam it anyway do hot water and treatment on the hair which i'm doing right now on the weave because i'm done coloring everything bleaching i'm done so after i'm done with the treatment i'm going to go in with this purple shampoo to remove every brassiness every orange or wanted colors and all that that's the work of purple shampoo guys if you don't know what this is purple shampoo i don't know it's not focusing yeah this is it by clero professional yeah so that's it guys that's it after this we are done with everything bleaching and we'll move on to the next level please guys bear with me we are moving on to the main color right now so so guys this is the result after bleaching for the second time but i didn't really like it it did not give me what i wanted so i'm going in with this um lightest blonde cream of natural box dye to see if i can make it very light so what we have there is developer color and a small sachet bleach or lightener rather to help boost that the color to be very bright so guys do you know that this cream of nature dye did not do anything for me like it didn't really help me it didn't make it bright even after using it and i was so angry like <laughs> but anyways the color came out great that's all i have to say it just came out great but it wasn't so bright like how i wanted it but it was blonde and that was what i wanted and i was happy that it was just blonde so i'm going to be mixing it up and after mixing it i'm going to apply it generously on the hair I'm just applying the cream of nature mixture on the part I want to be blonde yeah guys I forgot to mention that you're applying it only on those parts you want to be blonde So guys, this is the dark brown color. I'm going to mix them up together. The Revlon chestnut and 
the Revlon dark brown I will be mixing the both of them together to get the color I want and I'm going in with the developer first and I'll go in with the color and I'll mix them up so this is what it looks like but just make sure you mix very well to its very very smooth consistency and guys i'll be applying this in the part i want to be brown like dark brown guys you can see i use foil to cover those blonde parts because i don't want it to get stained so this is it guys after applying it you can see guys So guys, I just washed out the dye and this is the result, but I'm not feeling it at all because it gave me some patches as you can see. So as you can see, some blonde patches and I don't really like it. I really want this to be dark brown, like exactly how you saw it on the picture, dark brown. So what I'm going to do now is I'll go in with my adult dark brown and I'll use a watercolor method for this. All I'm going to do is just to pour in my hot water and pour in the adult dye. Yeah, this is it. Then I soak in the hair, especially just the brown part yo guys this is it this is the end result i just got exactly what i wanted exactly what was on the picture this is exactly the hair kylie was wearing guys isn't this gorgeous isn't this beautiful like i'm in love with this hair <laughs> so i just uh, dried it and i straightened it and that was it you can style this hair however you want but i just wanted it straight and as you can see guys it's just so beautiful i love the end result kylie needs to call me like <laughs> kylie jenna call me i could be your stylist you know so guys this is what i do remember this hair was black guys this hair was black and all of a sudden you see the magic i created so guys please you can follow me on instagram at glam addicto my business page and you can follow my personal page at bella glam addicto yeah and guys do not forget to subscribe do not forget to like this video and leave a comment just tell me what you think or tell me anything in your mind whatever <laughs> Or if you really have any video you want to see or you want me to create, you can let me know too in the comment section, guys. So this is it, guys. We've come to the end of this video. Thanks for staying with me. Bye.